I call this my special fried rice because I like to load it up with lots of Asian greens. My favorites are sliced bok choy and Chinese broccoli. And you can also add some baby spinach too. And one of my other special ingredients is Chinese sausage or lap chong. Now I love this because while you're eating your fried rice, you're getting these little pops of ruby red sweet pork. It's like finding little jewels. I love it. All right, so let's get started on cooking our fried rice. Put a little bit of oil in your wok. Start off with some onion, some garlic, and the Chinese sausage. I just want to let these first few ingredients really start to brown up and turn golden. Okay, now for the egg. And a little whisk. And then just pour those into the side of your wok. And then just push those eggs around, spread them out just so they're getting a nice even cook. And once the egg starts to set, you can get it all mixed up. And now for all the greens. Looks like a lot, but they'll really sort of um, smush down a bit as they cook. Ooh, looking so wholesome and lovely. Okay, so now it's time to add the rice. And just got some plain steamed rice here. You could use brown rice as well. Okay, so we add in soy sauce. Once everything's mixed through, turn the heat off. And one of my biggest secrets for a great fried rice is to leave your aromatics for the end. So I'm gonna add in the spring onion and the sesame oil. So if you add in sesame oil at the beginning, it'll lose all of its fragrance. So this way we're just sort of stirring it through at the end. Now for some lime juice. And then finally, loads and loads of black pepper. There are a couple of things we need to do to get that really super crispy chicken. We're gonna start off by just blotting the skin of these chicken thighs. Anytime you're looking to make something really crispy, water is your enemy. So get rid of all of that moisture and then season. Now the salt is gonna help us create a nice crust on the skin as well as flavor that chicken need a little bit of oil in the pan because the chicken as it cooks going to release a lot of fat. Okay, now get your chicken pieces into the pan with the skin down. Make sure your pan's big enough to fit all the chicken in one layer. Now the most important thing to give us that earth shatteringly crispy crust is to weigh the chicken down. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of parchment paper on top of the chicken. And then get another pan or a baking tray uh, or a pot, put that right on top and press down and then add some extra weight like a tin or uh, I've got a, a pestle here. And then just let that go for about 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll take a look. The chicken looks super crispy and lovely on the skin side. I just add some pepper to this top part. We didn't want to add any pepper at the beginning because that would have burnt as the chicken cooked. And turn those over and look at how lovely and golden and gorgeous that is. You just need to let that underside cook for only a few minutes. The chicken's actually almost cooked all the way through. Once that's done, take them out of the pan. I just like to drain them on a cake rack to get rid of that excess oil. Now slice and serve with your fried rice.